Hey there guys, my name is Alex with Seville Headlights. I'm beginning a lot of requests lately for a video on how to test your Xenon HID headlight ballast components and all that good stuff, so I figured I'd make a little video for you. Basically, this is the full setup, of course, with the exception of the actual housing of a Acura RL Xenon headlight. We have here the ballast, which is the big guy. We have the igniter, which is a little guy with the bulb on the end and have a 12 volt battery. Um, so with all D2S, D2R, D4S, D4R systems, you're going to have the ballast and you're going to have the igniter. Now a lot of times they don't actually unplug and the igniter sits directly at the end of your ballast and you can't take it out, up, out without taking apart your ballast. That is definitely not something I recommend doing. Um, things push about 25,000 volts at arc and I personally don't like being anywhere around that. Now with D1S and D1R systems the igniter is actually a part of the bulb so every time you replace the bulb you're also replacing the igniter. But get down to it, just go ahead and plug everything in here and as always red is positive, black is negative. I actually have the end of the wiring harness cut off here because I test so many of these. Now this is a 12 volt battery out of a Bosch portable drill. Um, your car battery actually is going to push about 13.4, 13.5 volts when it's running, but this is going to work just fine for our purposes. And so we're going to put the red into the positive terminal, black into the negative terminal, and as you can see this bulb lights up nice and bright and everything here is good to go. So I'll just leave it plugged in and let it warm up here for a minute. If this didn't work, the first thing I would replace would be your bulb. That's definitely going to be the cheapest and the most likely option. These ballasts are made to last for the lifetime of the vehicle. Um, if that doesn't work and you do have a igniter that you can separate from the ballast, I would replace that next. And finally, um, the ballast, is, if you have to replace it, you just have to replace it. I mean, you got to have headlights. Um, and if you do have one functioning headlight, you can swap parts back and forth and that'll give you pretty good idea of what is wrong. Um, this is the same testing procedure I do for all the stuff that's in my eBay store, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, um, got all sorts of fun stuff in there, so you might, if anything's broken, I can hook you up with a deal. Um, and yeah, I think that pretty much does it. Um, thank you for watching, and you guys have a good day.